Just a minute. Just a minute. Now, hold on, Mr. Potter. Just a minute. Now you're right when you say my father was no businessman. I know that. Why he ever started this cheap penny ante building alone, I'll never know. But neither you nor anybody else can say anything against his character because his whole life... Why, in the 25 years since he and Uncle Billy started this thing, he never once thought of himself. Isn't that right, Uncle Billy? He didn't save enough to send Harry to school, let alone me. But he did help a few people get out of your slums, Mr. Potter. And what's wrong with that? Why, here, you're all businessmen here. Don't it make them better citizens? Doesn't it make them better customers? You, you said that they, what did you say a minute ago? They had to wait and save their money before they even ought to think of a decent home? Wait? Wait for what? Until their children grow up and leave them? Until they're so old and broken down that... You know how long it takes a working man to save $5,000? Just remember this, Mr. Potter, that this rabble you're talking about, they do most of the working and paying and living and dying in this community. Is it too much to have them work and pay and live and die in a couple of decent rooms and a bath? Anyway, my father didn't think so. People were human beings to him, but to you, a warped, frustrated old man, they're cattle. Well, in my book, he died a much richer man than you'll ever be.